Why is that one your favourite? Because it's from Dick Van. Dick Van Stralen, he's like my dad. And it's just made so well. And it goes well. I don't ride it much, but at all really. But it's just one that's, yeah, really sentimental. Um, the scrap piece of foam that comes out of the knee well in a paddleboard. So like the big black paddleboard over there where you like clubbies kneel in the dish. If you cut that out of a blank, there's that that bit is then a piece of scrap foam on the ground and we we're sitting there looking at it and it looked big enough to make a board out of. And so Dick Van was like, okay, I'll just make some rails and there's already some rocker in the tail. And I was like 14 or something, and so we um, glassed it. There's no stringer in it, and I it creased it because it flexed so much. And I went out and rode it, and this is the board that I got tied up to the trees at Burley with no clothes on for riding weird boards. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like grommet abuse. They were like, you're going to destroy your surfing career and all this stuff because I was riding this board. And so I'd ride, I'd ride this anytime the waves were good, and then I'd go on like the contest trips and stuff as a little tiny, like 15, 16 and stuff, and I'd ride a normal board for the contest. And as soon as the contest was done, I'd go grab this and go surf this. <laughs> so this one sort of started me on riding different boards, and it was just a piece of scrap foam, which is pretty cool. Obviously shows my obsession with women. But I was really bad at drawing faces, still am, so I just wouldn't draw a face. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is Jerry Lopez board. And we used this on a film trip with this guy Thomas Campbell for his movie Sprout. Dan Malloy and I wrote, rode two boards like this in some really good ways in Indo. And it's basically what Jerry rode at Pipeline through all of his like heyday, super gnarly rail, pretty trippy board. This one's a percho and what kneels into at the moment and when I was a little guy at Burley and getting strung up on the pine trees nude with leggies because I was riding boards like that last one there. Percho was actually one of the guys that would be like, it's good man, it's good, go have fun, just ride whatever and just be a legend and surfing amazing. So I kind of love, I love that he was like that for me. So whenever I see him doing something really interesting, I kind of I ask to be able to have a try. And that's what this is, the twin thing. This one here is a, a board of Andy Irons. So when we were tripping around for a couple of years together, got to ride this with him, which was pretty cool. He didn't like it, I liked it, so I got to keep it. He gave it to me, <laughs> which was pretty sweet. It was very kind of him. This one over here got me really psyched on twin fins of this nature, not the keel fin fish, but the twin fin. And this came from Derek Hind. I did a trip with Derek Hind to a remote place in the south of Oz, and he let me ride this, and it blew my mind, so he gave it to me. It's got a Martin Worthington spray. This guy's the guy who made all the sprays on the hot buttered surfboards back in the 70s. He used to do herrings as well. Yeah, yeah, so good. Spider, Mur Spider Murphy, I'm pretty sure, was a shaper. And once I rode this, I was freaking out and was like, okay, I'm gonna ride twin fins from now on. So that was pretty awesome. That was probably like 15 years ago or something. And then the Killer Ipa. I won't go through all of them, of course, but these are the main ones. So Killer, when I was super into twin fins, we bumped into each other in Indo, and he said, hey, try this. So he gave me a board to ride. And, uh, and then since then we've been Playing around with shapes on and off in Hawaii for years. So he's 
son of Ben Ifer, amazing Hawaiian family, and just the sweetest guy, amazing shaper. So, master of swimming.